Good morning, folks. We've got some Earth events and top science news today. Also, some key resources that everyone should know about. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours still largely dominated by the coronal holes, which themselves are mostly prevalent at the polar regions. We've seen their solar wind streams interacting weakly with Earth the last few days, but this morning the telemetry is easing back to normal range and perhaps even a bit calmer than normal. Geomagnetic conditions, all quiet. Now, while it's unlikely to form a full sunspot group, this bright arching high latitude umbral field structure is the type of early sign of the next sunspot ramp up in the 11 year cycle. As the solar polar magnetic fields begin their multi year reversal process early this decade, these types of activities will begin to form proper sunspot groups. The return is indeed expected this year. By now, most of you have heard about the devastation in Nashville and surrounding towns due to a string of tornadoes. Using the day cloud distinction with lightning mapper overlay, you can see how sunset set off the system that dropped major severe events as across the Tennessee Valley on approach to the Appalachian chain. Widespread severe potential tonight as well, as the core of the system moves offshore but it wraps its convergence tail back across the southern states. The other major event the last day was the mudslide in Brazil. They are still searching for those trapped underneath, many confirmed dead already, and every passing hour reduces the chances of finding more of their brothers and sisters. Thoughts and prayers are with them. Folks, we are on the precipice of a similarly large leap in electroquake study to the acceptance of pre-earthquake electromagnetic anomalies in textbooks and modern satellite missions. Currently, a large portion of potentially correlated earthquakes are off the list because space weather was affecting the atmosphere at the same time and they were not able to tell if it was the sun or the earthquake pressure releasing radioactive ions. Well, the key comes in magnetotelluric forces modulated by source current and that source is the ionosphere. The last piece of the macro scale electroquake puzzle is the realization that often the earthquake is indeed not only part of the global electric circuit, but the solar system circuit too. The E and F layers of the ionosphere, which are tremendously modulated by space weather, then go and affect the magnetotellurics in the ground below. Quick update here, dark matter scientists are now trying to use germanium to detect dark matter particles. It's a very creative solution, granted it won't work because dark matter isn't real and they didn't find anything like the 10,000 searches before them, but still, very creative. The better idea is to use elements and combinations of plasma, baryonic and leptonic plasma, quark gluon plasma, when the components of normal, regular matter form a sea of jumbled, incoherent charges without sticking as elements, we call it Bose-Einstein condensate. It is one of the best candidates for dark matter. It is not new physics or some new magic particle, just different combinations of the matter we know, hiding in plain sight due to their diffuse and often obscured nature. The correct cosmology leads one to better understand the magnetic and dynamic structure of galactic spirals like those in the Milky Way galaxy. Every tiny discovery about the large-scale structure of our cosmic city leads further down the line of its influence over our star and this planet. It begins with energy from space and ends with something like this, according to many in the past, including Einstein, Hibbins, the Pentagon. So here are some resources for those new to Earth's catastrophe cycle. All these are linked below the video for you to easily find. Cyclical Deluges is one of the older ones we currently have free online. The Masterful World in Peril by Ken White is now free to read online. Really hope you didn't pay $900 for that book on Amazon. It's the only one that details what the government knows about the disaster, by the way. Of course, you can now find the Adam and Eve story by Chan Thomas in numerous places online, including the 1993 version where he finally blames the sun as the sword astride the galaxy as the hand. Also found a free copy of an English translation of Cuvier's discoveries. The older the works, the more their timelines are off, but still, these are all very valuable to read. Of course, watching is easier, and I do tend to combine, cram, and connect the dots and more in our playlists on the topic. We have had to make two of them at this point, one here for the full movie and newest advances, and then another for the full 23-episode original playlist that served as the foundation for the full movie and are moving forward now. All are linked below, all free to read or watch, and unfortunately, 
all likely going to happen again in our lifetimes. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.